That's hysterical. That's All right, great. we got another funny guy coming to the stage right now. Y'all heard him on the Joe Rogan podcast. So put your hands together for the very funny Justin yeah. Foster. Yeah. Thank you guys. I agree. You know what to do. It's my song. What's up, you guys? All about that bass, no trouble. What's up, Wednesday? Not trying to get weird tonight or what? I almost didn't make it tonight. I was late. I was uh, on Facebook looking at Shannon's pictures, liking them. So that was me. <laughs> I'm white as fuck, and my credit is terrible. I, <laughs> it's terrible. <laughs> Oh, man, I happened to be here. My birthday was um, whenever for this joke. And um, uh, my father texted me. He's like, hey, Justin, happy 30th birthday. I'm proud of you. This is going to be your year. I had to respond back, 34, Dad. I'm 34. <laughs> he was right, though. 30 was totally my year. Um, <laughs> Oh, uh, I'm not saying me and my dad have a bad relationship, but I, I, I texted him on Father's Day. I was like, hey, Dad, happy Father's Day. He responded back, new phone, who is this? So I don't know. Is that bad? Uh, ah, man, good. All right, good. Off to a good start. I'm actually out of material. That's all I have. Um, okay. Yo, so you're talking about dating, like going out and shit. Like, do you go to, do you still go to the clubs and shit? Do you do that? Oh, it's so exhausting, isn't it? It's oh, it's so bad. Like I'm, like I have no business in the clubs. And I travel a lot. And I still like want to hang out. Why are you pointing? Are you do you like going to the clubs? Or are you just exhausted? <laughs> you just pointing at her for some reason. Do you own a club? <laughs> have you heard of it? She's like, no, but I go to Subway a lot. And I get the club sandwich. I don't understand. The parallel, all right. Um, I, it's, can we calm down with the nightclubs Burbank, by the way? Can we calm the fuck down? Like, this isn't Hollywood or Vegas, this is Burbank. I went to a club the other day and the guy's like, you on the list? I'm like, no, I'm not on the list, bro, this is Burbank. Like, you're close to the strip mall. You know what I mean? Like, you can't be on the list when your club's next to a coffee bean, goddamn it. You know what I mean? Like, this, this building used to be a circuit city. I'm just returning headphones. You know? Then he wants you to buy a table. It's four dollars for a table, but yo, I'm keeping that table. You know what I mean? <laughs> I run a screwdriver, flip it over. I'm getting the leg or something. I'm getting this table. They got the bottle service chicks always flirt with you. They sit in your lap. How you doing, handsome? Like horrible. I just paid four dollars for a table. I can't keep. I'm doing horrible. <laughs> It's bottle service. We do bottle service. Oh, I don't drink. It's bottle service. Okay, we'll put a sparkler in a Zarka bottle and get out of my life. I hate you. You know what I mean? <laughs> I'm old and sober. When my friends do bottle service, I get more excited about the mixers that they bring out. I'm like, yo, is that cran apple? Snap. <laughs> Turn down for what? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I like the juices and shit. <laughs> yo, that goose got you loose. This OJ got me okay. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Everybody in the club drinking Pepsi. <laughs> I don't drink anymore, man. Here's what I figured out when you quit drinking alcohol. Did you guys know you could leave a bar before it closes? <laughs> No idea. I'm not trying to leave a bar before a last call. I mean, they get seen from Beetlejuice when they figure out they're dead and like the sandworms chase them back inside. <laughs> Turns out you can leave whenever you want. And most of my friends are cool with me qu quitting drinking. I had to quit drinking. It got weird for a little bit. And uh, I had to quit drinking. And most of my friends are cool with it. Some of them get judgy though and like weird. Like I went to my friend the other day and he was like, Is it cool if I order a beer in front of you? And I was like, I don't give a fuck. Like I'm not going to judge you. Like the staff might at 7 a.m. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> <laughs> and we're at Starbucks. So yeah. Uh, <laughs> All I ever did was drink that. I never got into drugs. I don't know if this is a drug crowd. I don't know. Like, you right around with a friend who does too much cocaine, you can't even get your nose around him without him freaking out. You know, like, like yo, man, you hold him? <laughs> yeah. Claritin, I have allergies. Yeah. <laughs> this guy's like, you're, you're like, I'm gonna go to the bathroom. I'm gonna come with you. Like, no, the fuck, you're not. Like, stay over there. <laughs> I went to the bathroom. <laughs> My dad did all the drugs in the world, all, except heroin. He never did heroin, and he brags about it. Like, he's very excited about that fact. Like, I never did heroin. I'm terrified of needles. I'm like, really? Is that what's holding you back? Those pesky needles? <laughs> I was like, oh, I could never be a suicide bomber. I hate wearing vests. You know? <laughs> I could never murder a prostitute. I hate meeting new people. <laughs> my dad did all the drugs in the world. My mom was covered in tattoos. You know what that sucked for me growing up as a kid? Like, I could never rebel against my parents. <laughs> Nothing I knew was cooler than those two idiots. You know what I mean? I could be like, screw you, mom. I'm gonna get a tattoo. She'd be like, do it, pussy. I have sleeves. You know what I mean? Like, screw you, dad. I'm gonna smoke pot. I'll sell it to you. You know what I mean? Nothing. <laughs> Nothing I knew was cooler than that. 
My parents are hippies. The only way to rebel against my parents is to do like the opposite of everything they did. Like, screw you, mom. Screw you, dad. I'm going to college. <laughs> like, I have no son. <laughs> dating, dating sucks. I was in a relationship and um, yeah, we broke up. And I got sad. Like, I get sad in a relationship. You know, as it is, like when it, when it ends, you get sad. And your friends like try to give you advice. I mean, friends like, it's okay to be sad after a relationship. You have to go through the grieving process. Like, the same grieving process as when somebody dies. Like, do you believe? Do you believe that's true. I don't know if that's true. Like, I, you, you think it's true? I don't know because I never have to worry about running into my dead uncle at a bar <laughs> with his younger, hotter, more successful new nephew. You know what I mean? Because <laughs> when somebody dies, you go, it's okay. She's with God now. I can't do that. It's okay. She's with Todd now. You know, like, it's, not, it's not comforting. It's yeah. creepy when I leave roses on her apartment in the rain at 3 a.m. <laughs> Very creepy. <laughs> what if my friends treated me the same way when like somebody died? Like you gotta get over it. You gotta clean up, take a shower, get out there, get yourself a new grandpa. <laughs> <laughs> I went on a date with a chick. Uh, I, like, I, I think it's weird because I don't drink anymore, and I still like chicks that drink because they're easy. And um, <laughs> she showed up to the date. I think she showed up drunk. She was wearing a Crown Royal bag as a purse. <laughs> And we're talking, I swear to God, we're talking, and she goes, this is a quote, she goes, any girl, what did she say, any girl who doesn't be, be with two dudes at the same time is a liar? Which I, you're not, is that true? I don't know. But that's how hot she was, because if she was like a five or a six, I'm like, yo, you nasty, this date's fucking over. But she was hot. All I could think of was like, yo, I wonder what Mark's doing right now. You know what I mean? <laughs> Is it weird I had the guy picked out, too? I don't know. Is it... <laughs> no. No. Uh -uh. I ran away. I'll tell you guys this one again here. Uh, I ran away with this girl over recently. She's happy. She's in a new relationship. And uh, whatever. And uh, she asked me, she's like, what about you? You see anybody? I'm like, oh, yeah. Like, side note, I'm not. Uh, but I just lied. I just, what you, yeah, you know what I mean? You, you make up a lie. And uh, she's like asking me all these questions. What did she do? And she's like, I gave this chick like a backstory and everything. <laughs> she goes home for the holiday. Like, she tells her parents about it who are still friends with my parents. I come over the holidays. This invisible chick has her own stocking above my mom's mantle. <laughs> I gotta go and find a chick who looks like the chick that I made up and like take a picture with her and upload it to my Facebook. I basically catfished myself, is what I'm saying. Yeah. Now my mom's like shopping with this chick who doesn't even exist. She's like, what do you think Julie's gonna want for her birthday this year? I was like, I don't know, a new Xbox. <laughs> Thank you guys, man, it's just a possibility. Yeah. Alright, Justin Foster, y'all. Oh yeah!